Yeah, I don't know what happened, dog. I don't know. We'll just pick it up on what she was saying. All right. Later all this stuff. All right. We can go up to the next question. Um. Yeah, man. It, I want to talk about something. You know, I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, we 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 did a lot of videos before. I guess basically, um, we, when we was doing videos a few months ago, we was talking about the things that EA had to change. Mm -hmm. And um, now that I'm seeing a lot of the change going into the game, I got a lot of these stupid videos coming up from people who talk about their so-called quote unquote football heads and this, that, and the other. And they, they talk about how they played the game for two months and, and you know, they was done with it or this and that and the other. And I'm sitting there going, I, I really don't see where you're getting this from. Because um, I'll bring up a video. You know, it, people call me whatever they want to when I say this. You know, regular Dave and that King Frame or Flames or whatever that dude is. Mm -hmm. uh, the Stiffy dude. And then J.P. Davis. You know, and all these people talking and... At the end of the day, it it's never about football with these people. It's always about, oh, what glitch is going to be in the game? What exploit are we going to see being exploited next year? What, what are they going to find that's going to cheat the game, ruin the game, ruin this, ruin that? But at the end of the day, you, you talk about simulation, but you're not in a format of simulation. You say... I, I want a simulation game, but you're over there playing the casual version of the game. Regular Dave come out here and talked about, you know, he's one of these dudes talks about simulation football, but he's over there in the mud. What does he expect to get playing the mud? Let, let, let's call it out on the table, people. Mud is not for the same guy. It is not. It. it, it and you can say whatever you want to about the game should be all all on the version, this, that, all through the game. Well, Madden is not going to do that when they're the only company making a football game. They have to please the general public, quote-unquote general public. They're putting football as the core, but there's still going to be stuff in the game that's going to you know, play to the casuals because they want their money too. So, let's talk about that. Let's get this stuff on the table because you're playing mud, but yet you talk about how you never seen, you know, the presentation, this, that, and the other. You're bypassing where the presentation is in the game. You're bypassing all these things that would probably make your experience more enjoyable. You tell all these people that, you know, you played the game till December. But what you really ain't telling them is that you played the game for about two or three weeks and then sat on your shelf and then you played it for another couple of days and returned it back to GameStop or Best Buy or wherever you went to return the game. Quit sitting here and lying to the community. It's bullcrap. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing this junk. Y'all call me out all you want to, but I'm not scared to take y'all's bullets because y'all bullets is like a bunch of paper airplanes or spitballs. They ain't nothing. I saw them things away every single day. You know, this community is so jaded on the junk they talk about. They talk about all the things that Madden does that's messed up. So, and you put this 2K flag in the ground and hold it up high, and 2K16 is a jacked up game too for basketball. But yeah, if football was being made by 2K, it would all of a sudden be perfect. Give me a break, people. And now you've got Ryan Moody who got told by Rex Dixon on his own podcast that he tried to get him in the Game Changers. And then all of a sudden now he's flip-flopping. Mm. Come on, man. Let, let's talk about the truth. So, so I'm tired of hearing this garbage, man. Y'all got all these so-called pieces of, you know, all these people that's y'all's dudes. And they're like Swiss cheese sitting out here, man, with holes all in their crap. And, and if y'all have anything to say about me and 757, go ahead and pull any video we got. I guarantee you, you won't find nothing to where we told you a lie or flip-flopped on anything we ever said. But let's, let's talk about that because, you know, we're doing things reverse different way from everybody else. We don't got thousands of viewers, but we have the dips. Every single time they see our video, they turn around like, man, that was good. 
hey, you need to get your audio up. We're trying to hear this. But we're in, we're, we're in the devs here. We ain't worried about all these other people. Not that we don't want y'all to come along. Come on and jump on the spaceship. But we're worried about a movement. We're not worried about a bunch of Swiss cheese logic out here that used to be so-called, quote-unquote, I'm football. Let's go with it, man. Let's talk wait, about wait, that. Wait, 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 you know, Alabama... Madden, that's before I, before I start cutting their heads off. Madden is broken to tears, right? It's, it's ultimate team. It's draft champions. It's online play. It's basically play now, and then there's connected franchise. Our world in the simulation is connected franchise. I used to be a mutt master. I played mutt. I know everything about it. So Mutt is basically fantasy football to the 10th power. Now, I really don't care for some of the things that Mutt is, has done when they start putting speed past 101 and all of these things. Because, uh, one, I don't think that it makes very much difference. I haven't seen 101 speed wide receiver on the game yet. Right? 101, you're blowing past people. 102 acceleration. I don't even believe the system even activates past 99. But that's just me. Right? I, I just don't believe it does that. I think it looks good on the car, but I don't think it plays at 101 speed or 102 speed. I just don't believe it. And then you got draft champions. Now, when, when, when guys start, you know, having these roundtable discussions and, you know, we're, we're everywhere and we listen to them. And I heard regular Dave say where he was supposed, he was potentially going to be a, a game changer. Rex came to him and he turned it down. He didn't turn it down. He turned it down because he felt like his viewers, he would lose viewers based on that. My whole question is, are you trying to make the game better or are you not? Are you trying to give con con constructive criticism or are you really just out there trolling? He really doesn't know football. You can tell by his conversation. You can tell when he talks about Madden. He talks, he, he talks in very vague terms. You know when you have a conversation with somebody, whether they know football. They had the gentleman in there, you know, the tournament. Bruh going to do whatever he got to do to win the 100 stacks, the 100 cash. I ain't mad at that. Guys going to do all kind of stuff to do what they got to do to win. He knew he was nano on the guy. We don't even, the, the, the sim guys don't even have a problem with that. All we ask EA is said, if he got a gun, give us one too. Because all of us know how to play that way. Everybody think that because we're simulation guys, that all we can, all we can do is play technique. Man, we can play street ball too. We just choose not to do it. I can get down in the dirt with all of them. I used to smack people around on mud. My team was so my team was so good that my account got hacked and somebody somebody broke into it and, and took all my cards. My team was crazy. I was spending thousands on it. I won't playing with them. Right, and then you got the guy who calls into the show who, who, who's who been down to EA. I don't know if he's a game changer or not, but I know he's been down there. And he kind of understands the integral parts of it. J.P. Davis. Yeah, J.P. And then you got the host who trying to just get in where he fit in. He don't really know what he want to be yet, whether he want to be simulation casual uh, or, or what he's trying to do. And I'm not knocking anybody for how they build their channel. You get your view, you get your subscribers, how you get it. But when, when you start talking about a particular realm or you start talking about a particular genre, all I say is come with your damn facts.
Well, the defense, the zones are better. <laughs> I think three picks, so I guess they better. Do you even know why you throw them? Or you were just, you were just, you were just effing around. Just wanted to get a little, get your foot in there, so you can come back and say two, three things and get you about a thousand more subscribers. Like, man, stop. But this is this is this is the bullshit that Rex and those guys had to deal with. Then a lot of people are just trolling. And and and, and if they keep moving in the direction that they're going and they don't tune, that's a big thing. If they don't tune down to make it easier and they keep building upon it and building upon it and building upon it then what I guess you're gonna be on board then right they got it figured out cuz Alabama I, I I can guarantee you if you take Madden 17 that's coming out on the 23rd and you slap a 2k fucking logo on it for 16 and 17 right Mm-hmm. It'll be the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread. With the same gameplay, with everything that's going on, it just slap a different logo on it. This game's the shit! 2K's back! Like, man, stop. We haven't even touched about what a has done to the game that's totally revolutionized the gameplay. Come on, man. Yeah. That's, that, man, what, what, what? That one plus one and counting counting receivers and understanding how our corners and, and, and linebackers are passing the corners and say, man, you better be ready. So I had to talk about that like um But Alabama, later, later. we asked for it. Yeah. This is this see, see we kept hauling and sticking the simulation flag in the ground. And I said when I used to call into to the sim standard, when I first started calling, I said, Whoa, this shit here gonna hurt. People don't know what they're asking for when you start talking about putting real zone concepts into it, into a game, and start creating real levels of DNA into players, and feeling the weight and momentum in a remote, and really having to judge uh, aggressive tackles uh, versus versus uh, ca- uh, 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 conservative tackles, and start really having to count count stuff off. They don't know what they asked for, bro. I mean, um, you even told me there was a guy, you know, Redskins and the Giants who, uh, I believe that's who you said it was. Man, I talked to that guy, yeah. man, and we talked for about an hour. And the stuff that he was talking about that that, that he had that had added, and he said, I'm, I'm and he said, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a I'm not a EA guy. I'm a 2K basketball dude. I'm 2K. But he said I gotta call a spade a spade. And he said D boy's not playing. This this game different. He said big dog. This one's different. He said there's so much stuff in this game. I it, it's hard for me to even talk about and subscribe it. And they didn't even play the final bill. But this was a beta? What? <laughs> and they can't te- they can't say everything, Alabama. Listen to me, they can't say everything. They scare the shit out of people. They just gotta get in there and play it and grind it and really get in the lab. We have worked and worked and worked our butt off for this right here. For this very, very, very moment since day one that I called in the show. Since day one that 757 called in the show. Because, you know, the messed up thing about this whole thing is, like, I remember the first day I called into the show. This was back when they had um, Coach on there. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember, I think you was like, I think you called right after I called. And I was like, that 757 dude, is, he knows football. And this is before you ever told anybody that you was yeah, an NFL guy. Yeah, I told guy. the game, yeah. 
that you was in the NFL. And I was like, yeah. wow. And then it got to where, you know, everything moved forward to where we are now. And I was like, if I ever get the chance to talk, just to have a one-on-one conversation with 757, I, I can't wait. And the first, I, I remember the first night we actually got on the phone and talked. We talked for like three hours. It was nothing yeah. but straight football. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I'm, that, a, I'm, I'm a historian, bro. Like, like I studied this game. Outside of playing it, I studied it. You understand? I remember Rocket Ishmael at Notre Dame. I remember Cordell Stewart at Colorado. You understand? Steve Edman won in the Outland Trophy at University of Washington. You understand? Like, you can't tell me nothing about this game. J.J. Stokes at, at UCLA. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Keyshawn Johnson. At, at, at USC, uh, Seahorn was one of the one of the coldest uh, white corners to play this thing at USC. Like, man, you can't tell me about this game. Man, we had an hour discussion. I was, I was watching RG. <laughs> I was watching RG three before everybody anybody knew who the hell he was. He was a freshman. See, I know my. I, I know this game. I played it. I studied it. Man, I remember we had an hour conversation about my call stop, man on the Tampa Bay and how they ran the ball and how they had Cadillac and all them guys. Come on, come man. on, man. <laughs> you understand? Uh, NFL teams have formulas, right? They mm -hmm. have formulas. Pittsburgh, since the beginning of the time, been known for defense. They ain't had but three NFL coaches ever. Head coaches. Like they don't they don't switch coaches out. They be there forever. So I remember LeVon Kirkland, Ferrier, uh uh Greg Lloyd, Kevin Green. Man, you I understand just... figures. Man, them dudes, man, I remember them defenses. I go all the way back with Washington and and, and, and that trio that they had at Wild Out. And Rippin and, and Doug Williams. Dexter Manley. Like, man, come on, man. Like Teams have formulas, right? Some some are, have developed their formulas around this era, and some stick to the script, like Pittsburgh does, like Dallas is doing. They had they had to draft Ezekiel Elliott. They have won the Super Bowl off of the of a triplet a triplet formula. That's what they done. So when you start talking about these different elements and, and, and these teams start playing as that, that's EA's goal. And that's not just their goal when you start talking about Madden. That's their goal with putting Frostbite in this year. With FIFA, of uh, being able to a uh, whole city be be perfectly fine before before they drop sixty guys and they, and they turn the whole thing up. Or uh, what they're doing with Star Wars or um, uh, Mirror's Edge, not man, them, them, them guys is not playing and bringing people in who have had success in genres of of different development companies prior to them them coming to EA. EA have, is learning from their mistakes and their indiscretions. I'm a suit. I see it. The page has turned. Like it or not. It's not the same book <laughs> anymore. They put that thing on the shelf. And they're rewriting a whole new... They're rewriting the book all over again. We talked about legacy, Oz. Um, we talk about building a legacy. And that's what... EA is literally trying to do right now. But and it's scary for them. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it's scary for them, because they've been kowtowed down by the casual fan or the person who don't rip, they want football, but really don't want football or really don't want EA to be the company to give them the representation, rep representation of that sport. And they're nervous as shit. But they have to, at this point, have to stand for something. 
And if their tagline is, is given a representation of simulation football, then they have to stay there and where they are. And they really have to have to weather that storm or that conversation. In order them to get get over this hurdle of of EA always having a level of incompletion. Not 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 completing the vision. I mean, there is um something really funny to me. Um, I don't know if you've been noticing it, but uh, at EA Play, everywhere Madden was, Peter Moore was at, and Peter Moore's never really been involved in Madden all that much, except for really early back in when he first come into the company, and then all of a sudden you see him everywhere when it comes to Madden or FIFA. Um, you know they're invested a lot right now in pushing the genre of simulation forward. And Rex doesn't get the credit for all the things that he's doing to push the genre forward. Like, you, you mentioned the other day to me, you showed me a picture of the whole dev team out there, you know, taking a picture. Um, basically, you know, you're saying... I, I, said, I said the picture is all in. Yeah. That's the picture say. It said all in. They've never done this kind of thing before. And what 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 Rex <laughs> coming in and changing the mm -hmm. culture that we can do it. It's not gonna be easy. People are gonna say things. We have to weather the storm. But if we're gonna get to a place where we say that we have created the best football game ever to have existed, then it has the it's gonna be a level of pushback. But we have to continue to stay focused, go all in and believe in our process. All great companies do it. Right. Apple looks great now. Right. But when Gates was going through the process of creating and getting to the point of an Apple iPhone, man, they thought it was a nut. So. But when you have a particular vision of where you want to go, you have to believe in the process, man. And I think Peter Moore and those guys are finally understanding the process. And we're just going to see what is going to be the level of consistency, period, point blank. Only time is going to tell us that. We'll know within a few months what direction this Madden is going when, it, when, when, these, when these tweets come in as he hit. We'll know what EA stands for. When all these genres of these games come out and where they want to go, it'll be it, 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 it'll be clear. And then we'll deal with it as it comes at that moment, good or bad. Right. And it's good that EA is taking a little hit on that situation with FIFA and and what's going on with the cars and the chemistry not working right, because I want to see how they come out of this. What you're going to really tell your casual, what are you going to tell the consumer of FIFA what's really going on with those cars? Because I tell anybody, go find your best receiver, take him and put him at 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, and, and, and run fly routes or run dig routes. Man, they are smoking. They're rolling. Now, go and, and, and go play with your best mutt card that is at 102 speed with 100 acceleration and tell me that you feel a difference in that card. Come on, man. And I told you a few shows ago, I told you, Alabama, I said 
uh, I don't know what show it was, but I told you Mutt was going to take a hit. Yep. Say can't sustain this. Yep. See, but, you know, uh, nobody wants to listen. It, it, it all goes through one ear and out the other. There's certain people that'll listen. There's other people that don't. That's why I, I always go back to conversations we have. You can go through every video we ever made going up to this point. Everything we've ever said has come true. Um, now that, uh, you know, we're at this point, like I said earlier, you know, there's people dancing around issues nowadays. Like, like I said earlier, you know, it, it, it boggles my mind, the community, how they flip-flop all the time. They make all these negative videos. As soon as they, they got a chance, their foot to be in the door, they had to go change. They go change it. Well, well, well <laughs> where Alabama, they've created their, their, their channels off of hate. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what their base and their foundation was. Fuck Madden. Fuck EA. And they just thought that this company would never get to this place. Of likability, respect, and moving forward with innovation and technology. They just didn't think that. I don't, I don't think that they realize or understand what it is for Rex to be a football guy, right? Let, let's talk a little business for a second. I got to give it to him, Alabama. For him to be a football guy, uh, 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 one of these other guys to be football guy, tell an engineer and a coder how to make this do what it's supposed, make this a football movement, and he don't know shit about football. He understand the tech of what the engine does and where to, how to get the player from point A to point B, but to explain to him the nuances of football, you may you think that was an easy transition for them guys to do that. And not only do that, do it in a timely fashion and make sure your ass stay on the budget. Because each part of the division in, in Madden, we're creating it, has a, has a budget. Whether you're dealing with the cleats, and, and the equipment, whether you're dealing with the stadium, whether you deal with, with, with helmets, whether you're dealing with gameplay, whether you're dealing with zone uh, zone concepts, each part has a has a time limit and they have a, a budget. So they have to take stuff like zone coverages, right? And it has to be a long-term project. They've been working on this shit for a couple of years, bro. Yep. This ain't been no eight months. They slapped. It, it's not. It hasn't been. Yep. And we're okay with that. They got enough people that they can do that. That's the way it's supposed to do with build with with building this building this structure format of innovation and technology that they build. It's what they're supposed to be doing. Long-term project. They got somebody in the back room right now messing with that frostbite. Yep. They sure do. That's what they're supposed to be doing. They got a small group writing on the writing on the whiteboard some of the things that didn't get in 17 that need to be moving forward in 18 right now. to get down, bro. Same thing in FIFA. Same thing in Mirror's Edge. Same thing in Battlefield. Any of those games that's uh, 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 NHL.
it, it's a long going process, Oz, with this uh, community to me. Um, I I lose patience with certain things when it comes out. Um, and I tell you all the time, don't. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I tell you all the time. <laughs> why are you getting upset? Oh. You have to understand. Mm-hmm. You have to understand the uh, the person on the other end of the mic and what is their agenda. Truly, what's their agenda? Is it views? Is it is is it is it giving information to the community? Is it just talking out your ass? Is it hate man? Are you trying to talk about uh, concepts of football like NYK? What? What's your messaging? What you doing? And when you understand that from listening to it, from just listening to their, their, their track record of what they're doing, you, you come to a, a clear understanding of what the hell is going on. And leave them in that place, bro. They're entitled to say and move in any way they want to. But the thing is, when you say something is or is not in any game, my question is, okay, what's your solution? What do you think should be in there? And I and I, I want I want some bullet points. Come on, come on, bring me some bullet points, bro. If you just start talking in general terms, I don't know a little of this and a little of that. Then you just talking, bro. There, I know there's a question that you posed on the Sim Standard Radio Thursday. Um, Pushing forward with these new consoles, man. Mm. Um, I just I, I listen to something today. You know, I'm always I'm always looking for the juicy stuff. <laughs> but uh, you know, PlayStation talking about you know Show and Neo at the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, they're talking about this is rumored right now, but it's from a credible source from the Wall Street Journal. So. You can't get much more credible than that. Well, Wall Street Journal be saying some shenanigans, but go ahead. Yeah, you, yeah, I know. They talk about everything uh, is a click and a view now. But go ahead. But uh, but you know, credible source in most cases. Yeah, yeah. But uh, talking about a uh, PlayStation Four Slim, mm. you know, I, I'm really worried about how all this is going because if people don't, I mean. I don't know if people will even listen to the podcast about that we put out talking about the Investors Day conference. But if you go back and listen to that, EA was really, you know, not happy with all this console changing, flipping, all this. And not even in three years have we even had Xbox or um, PlayStation on the market. It's not even been a full three years yet. And they're already making a new console. So you're talking about making four different games? Because they're still making games for the PS3, making it for the PS4, Xbox One, you know, Xbox 360. Talk about it. And now you have to upgrade for a slim model, which is talking about its 4K resolution too. And then you, you have an even higher generation of a console coming out that's not even PlayStation 5 or Xbox 2 or whatever it would be called. With all this upgraded tech and how many games do you expect a company like EA that's on a yearly cycle to get out, or any or game? The, you know, all these games. It's crazy. How many games do you expect them to get out? You know, they're having to work in. You know, because they're not going to sit there and go. Because Microsoft is pounding on them, Sony's pounding on them, telling them, "Hey, you have to upgrade it to make it look better on the Neo. It has to look much better on the Scorpio, and, and be so much separated. This, that, and the other." How are you gonna? How, how can we take all this? And, and we're not even talking about the general consumer yet, who who's looking at it. You know, parents who wants to buy their child the new console that he wants, and you know, you're spending six, seven hundred dollars. Plus, you got to go out and buy a TV. It's not gonna happen. 
Yeah. Let's go. Ahead, let's go ahead and break this down. Let's down. break this down, Austin. Because you, know, you, you, can <laughs> over, you can overwhelm a consumer, mm -hmm. right? You told me PlayStation had how many PlayStation sold up to date? Forty over forty million. So why the hell am I even going to be concerned with with Microsoft? I'm not going to play your game. You can try to take a few of my uh, 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 my constituents if you want. Our shit is proven, right? We've put out a, a, a really good system. We got games. We're doing our thing. Like, because you got to talk about, because we talk about casual consumers, the average consumer of, of a particular device. We're investors, so I, I, I'm, not buying, so. I'm not buying my son a Scorpio. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm well off. Yep. He's not getting it. Not right after I just bought this damn thing for Christmas this past year. Not getting him a Scorpio. Not happening. So you probably ask, are you getting a Neo? Yes. But if they, they drop a Neo too, I ain't messing with that. Come on, man. You ain't getting 12 dollars out of me in, in three years, bro. It's not happening. And PlayStation will run themselves thin. We're trying to look in the rearview mirror. Well, what the hell is going on with that? With with that with them? That listen, they're drawing strings right now. Microsoft is hurting, right? So when you start seeing where they are on the PC world and on the PC list, hell, they like ninth or tenth. It's not a lot of people over there on Windows, bruh. So they, they, they're more in a PC world who's making a gaming system. PlayStation and flip the script and say, yo, we're going to be about the games. We're going to be about the consumer. We're not getting caught up in all of that mess. And it worked. Now, whether, whether PlayStation had something out, because we felt like the Neo was what we were supposed to get from the game. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to drop the Neo, go ahead and drop it. But when you start playing, the, they drop a Slim, we're going to drop a Slim. For what? It does not make sense in, the, in, in big business. It doesn't make sense. For what? You 40, you're 40 million up. You tell the developers, you got the PlayStation, you got the PlayStation 4. And you got the four PlayStation 4 Neo coming. That's all we bring in. So even if the resolution is uh, 1080p times 4, like, come on, man. Once you start putting it on, on the 4K television, but like, it, it, it's so minute what that graphic will look like it on uh, 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 um, on that 10, 1080p times 4 versus, uh, what do they call it, uh, Made of 4K, like, man, come on, man. You damn near got to be a TV expert to see it. And on top of that... So, so they playing a the game, Alabama, that they don't need to play. And companies do that all the time. We're, we're getting into this, this long competition about who got the biggest wiener. <laughs> right? That's basically what they're doing. Who got the big schlong out here? Is it Xbox or is it PlayStation? Like, man, stop. But see, I can't go over to Xbox. They don't have the library of games that I would even look forward to playing. All they have is Gears and Halo. There's so many games that I can get on the PS4. Plus, they I got mean, all I the multiplayer. <laughs> There's no problem with that. Come on, man. Titanfall, you know, they got Titanfall. whoop you do I don't care about Titanfall. Come on, come on, man. You know, all these games. PlayStation, I mean, Xbox is... They're doing what they have to do, hoping that they can get a part of the place, the Xbox guys who went over the PlayStation back. But PlayStation needs to move forward with the plan. So now they, if if it works out like they say, 
That'll be PlayStation 4, PlayStation Slim, PlayStation 4K Neo, and VR. Like, man, who the hell are y'all trying to sell this to? We ain't even talking about VR. Oh, I... Man, the average consumers can't... <laughs> as, right? The average... PlayStation 4 sold because we knew it was coming. You knew the date, you knew the time. Mom and dad saved their little quarters for their, for their babies. Got the PlayStation 4 or got the Xbox. So even if you know the date, you're not going 4, Slim, VR, like, man, come on. 4K, like, you're not doing that. Now, people saying they putting on the VR, they sweating, they throwing up, it's giving them headaches, it's running hot. Like, man, y'all better figure this thing out. Because if you don't, v v VR is going to be a flop, just like the, the, the uh, PlayStation Vita. Just going back to because I, I want to know where they, where they got the R and D from that people wanted. I I get that that's the, it's the next level of tech. I get it. The VR, you're putting the glasses on, you're doing all of that, but that ain't something you can play and put on your eyes for four or five hours, Alabama. Just like in the the NES days when they did that whole VR, the you know the whole scope. We can thing. go. That we can crazy. go. We can go simpler than that. Yep. You can go all the way back to Nintendo three. Uh, DS when they had that 3D mode. The first one. <laughs> Come on, man. I was like... I told my son, no, you can't have that. Because it was just built bad. You had to look at it with this. It's, yeah, this adjustment. I'm like, boy, you had glasses in, in a month. No. You can't have it. We'll get you. We'll get you one without 3D. You get all kind of games. That 3DS not happening. So I'm just, I, I'm I'm leery about the the oversaturatedness of it. And people are going to say, "Well, they've done it in the past, not at this price point, and not at this quick at one time." They didn't throw it all out there like this. That I mean, in, 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 in a year, in a year and a half, each system could have four different devices out at one time. Maybe it, 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 people may say it may not be a, a, a big deal, but when you start showing games in 4K Neo and on Scorpio at different events and all that shit. The, the 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 other consumer gonna be a little agitated. It's just not gonna look the same. I mean, if you want to play, you know, if you if you're cool with where you at, fine. But I just don't see it selling as well if you're gonna stay at the place that you at. You're not gonna do VR for three ninety nine and then do a Neo for five ninety nine. It's not gonna happen. Plus the TV that we that we gotta get. Come on, all man. this stuff, man. Come on, come on. So it's just not gonna sell as well on either side, the Scorpio or the daggone, um, or or, or the uh, PlayStation uh, Four Neo. Now, if if PlayStation just goes PlayStation Four Neo, fine. VR is a is a luxury. Uh, entity that you're, you're trying to add into your company fine but i please i hope you're not thinking that that's thing that's about to do 40 million not about to happen and if it does alabama i will be freaking shocked i'll i'll eat one of my hats if that happens <laughs> i would be shocked big guy if that if that takes place and it happens i really truly would you know, we, we got I don't so, see that we got so much on the line right now with this that nobody talks about. Um it, it it's a it's um it's a it's a very odd place to be right now as the gamer with all these consoles and systems and and everything the way they are. Um 
I don't know how you how you want to touch on um, moving forward with uh, what A Dub talked about Thursday night because there's so many things that I want to get into about that conversation. <laughs> get into it about what? What? <laughs> I mean, it's listen, listen, people. It's football. You're going to have to read the defense. You're going to have to understand the offense, and you're going to have to play to the strength of your team. And understand the strength and weaknesses of your opponent, right? To put it in simplest forms, we can talk about spill plugs, spill systems. We can talk about zone coverages, how to push a, 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 a receiver through the linebacker and get the backside corner to pick him off. We can talk about that all day long, but you have to y'all ain't gonna know what the hell I'm saying anyway. But but my my thing that we're, that we're talking about right now, or this community is talking about, is why didn't they put it all in? Y'all haven't figured out the first basis of it yet. We ain't even got the thing in skill training. <laughs> and, and y'all want it all come that, in that, there. That, but, but this is another thing, Alabama. Let's talk about what they ain't got in, and let's talk about a post-patch. See, people are still not looking at the thread of EA. Mm -hmm. we, they still talking about, oh, they didn't get it all in. Hell, they probably got three post-patches set up. Two months from it is, we're going to get a patch when the game is released. When the game is released, you'll get an updated patch. Few months from there, they're packed something else saying that. Like, come on, man. Like, the game didn't stay dormant, right? We got we got uh, uh, salary cap. We got XP and connected franchise, right? They did a, a, a they did an update. Hell, what two months ago? Like, come on, what are we talking about? They do post patch launches. That's what they do. And people were complaining about the commentary. How are they going to get that in every week? This, that, and the other. They don't even listen to the things that gets blogged out or the things that Rex says about the commentary. If they he go, said he said it's for play now mode, online play. Why you can't do uh, a commentary for? 